Uh, let's do boldness. Let's go to the pooper too crazy. Full crazy. Full crazy. The Slayer suddenly gets your attention by chucking a battle axe at your head. Adventure. See, how can you tell me that she's not the best girl? Just, just put that <laughs> alone. Right? Right. Oh, this was before NPC was cringe. Okay. Is it? <laughs> yeah. Well, she does think you're literally an NPC, at least. Yeah. Sup, She's not NPC. just a narcissist. <laughs> Sup, NPC. Enjoying your daily loop? <laughs> your daily loop! I'll have you know this is Oblivion. I have a seven-day loop. Uh, you can't uh -huh. believe the Slayer is accusing you of being a non-playable character. But, to be fair, you do spend most of your day walking back and forth between predictable locations and reciting the same four lines of dialogue. Listen, I've decided to make you a permanent member of my team. You're welcome. Now, come on, loser. We're going slaying. It's reverse. Ah, oh, the role reversal. Now she's trying to fill your your charm meter <laughs> to, to, so that she can get the achievement for romancing you. Ah. Suddenly, an adorable and emotionally intelligent fairy flies out of the Slayer's pocket. It's Nora, the therapist. Ah, uh, yay. Is it in yourself? Arvi, why do you feel the need to belittle your friend? Are you afraid that he might not want to join your team? <laughs> uh, enough with the psycho babble. He is not my friend. He is my teammate. I'm a tank, so I need a support character to get the perfect team balance. I find it fascinating how you're building these walls around your emotions. By tank. Do you mean self-esteem? And by perfect team balance, do you mean healing my deep-seated rage issues? I don't have rage issues! Raw! <laughs> Raw. <Okay>. Raw. <laughs> Raw. <laughs> you infuriating cottonball, I have monster issues. Specifically, my issue is that there are too many monsters still alive. Help me understand your perspective on this. What is the point of slaying all the monsters? Slaying monsters will make the world better. And? Safer. And? Justice! Huh? Oh, okay. We just had a breakthrough. Justice implies that these monsters deserve to be slain. What did they do to deserve that, Arvi? <laughs> just, just the sound of the, the beads knocking against each other on the desk. <laughs> hey, listen! You hold the key to your heart's future. It's in four pieces. <laughs> it's... it's just... Salil. Wait a second. Fuck thinking. Fuck self-reflection. I'm here to slay. Slay? Get away from my feelings, you Freudian fairy. Listen, teammate, for our next adventure, we're going to go steal some golem eggs from the poison spewing bridge demon and then place them in the fires of hell. They'll hatch into immortal dragons and then we'll slay the immortal dragons. Arvi, I would love if we could find a healthier outlet for these emotions. Let's explore some nonviolent activities. How about we do a trust fall exercise? All monsters must or, die. or we could go find uh, Baphomet? How the- I've only ever read this Baphomet, word. Baphomet, I think. Yeah. Baphomet? Okay. Or, we could go find Baphomet's harpsichord, learn the ancient melody of vengeance, and crash the moon into all of the monsters! Alternatively, we could spend the afternoon meditating, journaling, and having honest, frank conversations about your mother's parenting style. These two are never going to agree on an adventure, and you desperately need to boost up your stats if you're going to be ready for the water temple. Luckily, you that's not luckily, you know an adventure that will be equal parts epic and personally enriching. Let's journey into the depths of Lothyarzelf. The perilous dungeon Aww. of meaningful self-discovery. Love, love yourself. Love, love yourself. Yeah. There you go. I'm like, I'm like, this is definitely a thing, but I can't find it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We shall batter, battle Relaxus, Knight of the Order of Yoga. Okay. Okay. It will so be the very bottom painful. one <laughs> seems like boldness. The top one seems like creativity or charm. No, it's not charm. I think it's creativity, the top one. But the bottom one is, is a fight. 
So it's I yoga. Think... That's not a fight. It's a battle. Uh... Unless they're doing some weird reverse psychology, which is meaningful self-discovery requires the most boldness of all. <laughs> <laughs> uh... No, I think the bottom one is boldness. Let's give it a oh. shot. Battling relaxes the call of my destiny. I shall end his reign of terror and gentle stretching exercises. You summon relaxes by pouring a slug slug blood on a yoga mat. Then also texting, Bay you up, come over to relaxes. Hail and well met, relaxes. I am a Ravi. I mean, I am the Slayer. Slayer. <laughs> Prepare <laughs> for the bitter kiss of death by my blade. Team Slayer. <laughs> oh, Relaxus. As in, like, relax, get it? That's why he's so chill. Relaxus concedes immediately. Wait, no, you can't just concede. You're supposed to be a mini boss. I'm supposed to get a new weapon when I beat you. Relaxus hands over his lavender scented bath bombs <laughs> and proceeds. <laughs> That's not connected. How did that happen? <laughs> It's, it's the reward. Awesome. Yeah. And proceeds to chill so goddamn hard that he literally evaporates into the ether. That's the opposite of cocaine. But still Nice. Lavender. These bath bombs are just what I need to finish off the boss of the water temple. Prepare to die, fish king. The slayer kills the fish king and also an unhealthy amount of innocent fish with the lavender bath bombs. Now that's what I call self-care. You've made great progress. I'm so proud of your emotional progress, RV. The Slayer keeps all the fish meat and self-esteem from the victory, but you get the sweet, warm satisfaction of helping a beloved and homicidal friend. You gain two yes. charm and one creativity. Um, Yay! Sure. Yay! I can't laugh at <laughs> you because you're not getting money as rewards ever. <laughs> Which would be hysterical. That would be really <laughs> funny. <laughs> Out it. Cool crazy. Cool crazy? Yes. You're wandering down the hallway, reading Dragon Heat as discreetly as you can, which apparently isn't very because Polly and Vera clock this immediately. Uh, are you actually reading erotic fan fiction about dragons? God, I don't get a break tonight. Nope. Holy shit. <laughs> because we love Dragon Heat. I'm all about 19th century Russian literature, but a ghost girl can't say no to some erotic fanfic, am I right? I've literally been working on my Morgana von Breastreich cosplay all week. I'm gonna pretend that my misspelling of my name was a joke about Seath now. I see. You Don't seeth. worry about why. Speak for yourself, Polly. I don't. I've never. Okay, fine, I may have read Dragon Heat, but don't go around just telling people. Psh, we're clearly safe with him. A fellow Dracophile can <coughs> always be trusted. Are, are you sure? I mean, anyone into Dragon Heat must have a wicked mind. 297 chapters and counting, and it still manages to amaze me with all new levels of wrong. Yeah, but it's <laughs> what, like e-publishing chapters, so they're about like 30 words long. <laughs> Do yeah, it, right? I fucking love it. Yet, I must admit, I'm a bit vanilla when it comes to fave chapters. Mine is the one where Harold McDonghard, Horace the Hydra, and the deranged Draco Delacorte have to rest at an inn after the Choking Bay adventure. Only to discover that they have just one bed available. There's only one bad, the classic fanfic trick that never fails. <laughs> yes, that was that one was good. I personally prefer the one where Vanessetia unmasks her masked savior after a passionate kiss only to discover it's herself. And then they totally bang. I I'm not a fan of time travel, but sign me up for some good self cest Ah! Uh! <laughs> Why does it have to be a play on that word is the biggest problem. <laughs> I know. Uh, that's a good question. We already question. have a word for that. Uh, it's fine. Uh, we do, do we? Oh, yeah, I guess so. If you're going to call it masturbation. Yes. <laughs> Amen. What about you, Kath? 
What's your favorite story arc? Nothing to worry about. You'll just be revealing your inner kinks to us. No pressure. Uh oh. Easy. The Sex Caliber arc, where they want to discover the chosen one who can control the mythical Sex Caliber dildo, and they have a super orgy so everyone can have their turn with the dildo. Uh. What about this exclusive chapter I've written myself? <laughs> <laughs> I think that one might be creative. The worst possible might... thing I could do. Yeah. So Even far, I want to see it. <laughs> Whoa, right? How can we forget about the Sex Caliber arc? Arc? Like it's the fucking golden age of Berserk. <laughs> yeah. It's like a tournament arc. But With 297 well. chapters, it's rather easy to forget some arcs. Yeah, but that one was epic. The tension and thrill of wondering who might be the chosen one each time someone used the magical dildo? I must admit, it was very lubricating. Um. <laughs> also, I should praise the fact that it was entirely written from the viewpoint of the dildo. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. The cursed session. <laughs> <laughs> who would have thought? Keith, hair is such a kinky deviant. Maybe we should do our own six caliber trial one day, huh? Let's not get ahead of ourselves here <clears throat> yet. But I might or might not have an official six caliber dildo myself. Um, it's it's hard to say no to dragon dildo. It's it's <laughs> easy. It's pretty easy. She, you might say she's got it down bad for dragon dildos. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> <laughs> huh. Fuck yeah! All of those years of insecurity, and it turns out that erotic dragon fanfics were the ultimate icebreaker because of the heat. Mm. Both mm -hmm. the, the erotic and the dragon <laughs> have two smarts mm -hmm. and one fun. Celebrate your unexpected mm -hmm. discovery, yes, and. Did you say yes, and? <laughs> yes, I said it yes, and. <laughs> 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 what? Me? <laughs> Okay. Sometimes I, I mean, just, just I just yeah. start fucking with Bird at some point. Uh, you're <laughs> contemplating which of your classmates is the worst at extended metaphors. <laughs> when the answer to your question comes wandering up, it's it's Colonel. It's well, I thought it's it was Colonel. Be Scott. At, at have some you, point, have you heard some of Colonel's metaphors? Yes, yeah. yeah, I'm bad at yeah. That's true, <laughs> but. At some point, you've never I just wrote a thirty thousand page. I just wrote a thirty thousand word <laughs> fucking essay about extended metaphors. Yes, yeah. <laughs> I was right. It was Scott. Yep. Hey, Bird, you're really, really great at understanding how sports works, right? You sure aren't. Well, I happen to be putting together a sports team to do sports stuff as a team, and I'm trying to figure out who should be on it. Let's call this team Team Scott. And Team Scott wants an extra player to make the team stronger. And to snuggle and eat biscuits with and to go to prom with. To win at sports! The sport of <gasps> life. Is this a deal break? Is this like a fucking tiebreaker <gasps> thing that happens when two yeah. people pursue the same person? I'm the fucking kingmaker. Oh my god. Oh no. They should be good at, you know, all the things that matter in sports. Running, catching, obeying the referee, listening, communication, teamwork, love, affection, kindness. <laughs> so what do you think? Keith or Karnal? They do have a scenario for this. For the sports team, which is what I've been talking about this whole time, obviously. Well, I've triggered an item, an item well, not not ending yet, but yeah, arc. <laughs> you're on the Dragon Heat one, so it's going to be Karnal. Hey. Keith is the greatest team player I know. He would even be willing to wear the team mascot's costume if he was needed to raise Team Scott's morale. <laughs> you're pretty in the forest of giant heads. You're pro you're pretty clearly talking <laughs> about who you want to bang, right, Colonel? Go, Colonel. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say that. I said I want someone on my sports team. A sports team of being in love with me, but still. But thank you for your suggestion. It will be taken into consideration while assembling the team. For prom. And the rest of our lives. I will definitely be sending he a save the date to. Uh. uh <laughs> weird time. <laughs> Wait, what? The playoffs of the sports team. 
Which is what I'm asking about. Wank. Wow, he is ador is he adorable or what? You're welcome, Colonel. Boy, did he, did we help you snag a cutie who says wank out loud? <laughs> <laughs> and as for beard, he he gained two charm. Oh, I didn't get charm. I mean, I gained Scott. So yeah, plus one. Yeah. Everybody chooses an object. Sex caliber. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Windows 95 installation CD. The second cup, one out of three. A cupcake. So useless. <laughs> yeah. Players decided based on how not okay it would be to give this object as a gift at a baby shower. I think the Windows 95 no. installation CD is I'm sorry. Worse. Sex, sex dildo machine uh, dragon? It's that definitely the, the dildo and then the useless CD and the cupcake is just what you would yes. actually take to the baby shower. Yeah. That's what you would give. Okay, yeah. fine. I, I, I lose. <laughs> <You're> <laughs> <laughs> it's what I have, when the more extremely different the answers are, the easier the, the, the actual answer it is to do. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's all variations of dog then. If somebody just lands on the correct answer, basically. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> yeah. Or the most incorrect answer. Mm. Blap. You're still insisting on the dogs, though, or are you not? No, no, no. Oh, we left that. that. Okay. No, We're that's the, we, that, that's that, that that's that's now the black spot. Like it's burned yeah. out <laughs> by a cigar. <laughs> the uh, I guess more creativity, just in case. Because my stat is so bad. Oh, crazy. Oh, crazy. Thinks you owe me a that. Later, you're carrying around your precious dragon heat when you're spotted by Miranda and Damien? Wow, dragon heat, I love it. Also, you may not know this about Damien just by looking at him, but it turns out that he too is a hopeless romantic at heart. Are we reading the same series? I'm in it for Dragon Dong, Miri. Nothing so bad yet as good as a billionaire dinosaur made me gay. <laughs> Isn't that... Wait, how did... What? <laughs> Nothing a... so bad yet so good. Oh. Yeah. Ah. I'm pretty sure that's the it... real book on Amazon. Or there's like that's like a naming scheme. But I... what is that? That's not oh, the... Oh, right, right. That's... Is that the Pound Me in the Butt guy? I, that has like 500 says... books. He's got tons of books, yeah. He's like pounded in the in the butt by the, my book, pounded in the butt, that's pounded in the butt at the Republican Convention. <laughs> so like, like the, the titles yeah. just go into space. Mm. Oh, right, I've seen this. Yeah. Yes. yeah. There was a humble Damien. bundle of them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Damien, you are being utterly foul. Don't profane the deep emotional connection between Harold McDonghard and Godiva Galantina. Deep emotional connection? Is that why the latest chapter ends with Harold finally boning Godiva and then she wakes up to find him gone? Godiva. The or cliffhanger that. must be entirely misleading. People simply don't abuse each other's love and trust that way. I worry about you, Miri. I, I really, really do. I just desperately want to know what happens next in Dragon Heat. Do you think Harold is capable of being so mean-spirited? True art imitates life. Let's look at Damien's sexy messages to see what he's capable of, shall we? Harold may or may not be a scoundrel, but his but love is alive and well. Let me take both of you on the greatest adventure three-way first date ever to prove it. What? Whoa, you had what, an adventure, whoa. so. The greatest, greatest three-way three first, first date ever, yeah. There what is go. the logic of this quest? Uh... <laughs> uh I, is this... What the is fuck? The <laughs> yeah, what, yeah, what am I reading? Fun? <laughs> is it fun, the second one? Maybe? Because the top one isn't smart. He's gonna kill you. Eh? Oh! Nice. A date? In the midst of a school day? Why, my duty, responsibility, and breeding say no, <laughs> but my heart says yes. 
I have a midterm in interdimensional peace 305, so anything's better than that. Oh, huzzah! I do love being courted. Let us flee to the absolutely most romantic day that has ever happened to me ever. Yay! That's a high bar. Luckily, you're a romance expert, having spent literally all of your school days planning for prom, which is a single night of the year, instead of paying attention to the studies that might benefit you later in life. You show up with chocolates, flowers, and a bevy of myrrh slaves for Miranda, and a pack of matches and a gallon of gasoline for Damien. <laughs> the three of you go on an absolutely splendid date, during which Damien only commits a few murders. You gain two fun to one charm. Is this going to end in an orgy? I, am I going to romance collecting? everybody and then everyone else loses? <laughs> oh, that'd be hilarious. <laughs> that would be but, not, but not me, because I have a Robbie who might not be at the orgy. If there is mm. one. I don't know. Also, she would kill everybody if, if she were. Right. Um... Uh... Yeah. Colonel, what stats mm -hmm. do you need? Yeah, I mean, you don't need uh, any. You're fucking amazing. Yeah, I'm easy <laughs> mode, yeah. Yeah. He's got two uh, low stats. Yeah. Yeah. Look at those sad little baby stats. I think I'm doing okay. I think I'm going to beef up boldness again, though. Okay. So crazy. Beef up that... that... blog. The same people. <laughs> Oh, You're chilling shit, in the hi. bathroom with Damien and Miranda. Thank the gods for co-ed bathrooms. Everything's going great, and you're obviously very cool, until you hear some noises. Oh snap, it's Crazy Martin, the werebear janitor! Damn, we're done. If I get caught skipping class again, they're gonna feed me to the school's dragon. Or even worse, they'll make me come in on a Saturday! Oh no! Waka waka. Uh -uh. This is bad, and I didn't bring my champion, who would fight to the death to defend my honor. What can we do? It seems they're both waiting for you to do something, but how do you scare a werebear? No time to think. You bust out the stall, and usually it's when you hit the scarab, and then it shoots four lightning things in four different directions every time you hit them ever. It's very bad against melee users. It really took out the werebears instantly. Hmm. Everybody Is that a Diablo 2 joke? Yes. Okay. It was a formative werebear memory. <laughs> yeah. Gotcha. Make yourself as big as possible. <laughs> it's showtime, play dead until he goes away. Okay, so the second one is probably creativity, the top one's probably boldness. Yeah, the second one's Let's probably creativity because it says showtime. Yeah. So, big, big mode. We go big mode. Big, go big mode. You puff out your cheeks. Stuff a bunch of toilet paper in your shirt and wave your arms in the air. <laughs> Crazy Martin has no idea what the hell's happening. He thinks he's having a flashback to Nom. Aww. As Martin flees the bathroom, Damien puts a hand on your shoulder. That was stupid as hell, but you're sure scared him to death. Stupidity plus bravery is my favorite mix. You're rad. Yes, that was superb. For a moment, you scared me too. So convincing. You're my knight in shining armor. Maybe in another playthrough. <laughs> Not right now. Defeating a werebear with nothing more than toilet paper. That's something to remember. You gain two boldness and one creativity. Let's go. Let's go. And now I'll go for smarts. Finally. Class. Oh, wait, I went once Very and then lost them. Ones. Yeah. I'll, this time, mm. this time I'll stick. Mm. Okay, sure. Full crazy. Full crazy. The teacher hasn't arrived yet, so everybody's chatting amongst themselves. Polly and Scott are sitting next to you, and you can't help overhearing their conversation. Break masters. <laughs> All right. I hereby call this meeting of the prank masters to order. Prank master dog. They both <laughs> use alternate pronunciations that are alternate spellings that would not be heard. Yeah. Here! Prank Master Geist? Present! Great! Okay, our first order of business. Operation Prank the Teacher. Should we come up with a different name for the operation? Something more secret? No, Scott. That's what they're expecting. 
Oh, okay. Well, uh, um, I think we should poop on her desk. Hmm, that's pretty good. But ghosts can't poop, and I want to participate. Good point. What else could we do? Oh, Miss Lestrade is a vampire, right? Uh, it's backwards, it spells Dr. Acula. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Why don't we open the blinds so when she comes in, she burns to dust? Oh boy, that would be such a good prank. And that's why I wear that. Prank? Masters. With a Z. With a Z. <laughs> Scott and Polly excitedly try to open the blinds, but they won't budge. Seems like Miss Lestrade anticipated this particular prank. Ugh, lame. Well, I'm temporarily out of ideas, Scott. Nothing. Anybody? Anybody? The prank masters are currently accepting applications. You fancy yourself a bit of a prankster, don't you? Why not treat them to one of your amazing prank ideas? Tell the teacher she's got something on her face, like the answers to the test. There's no way for her to check. <laughs> Quick, become a minister and consecrate the room. She won't be able to enter. Oh, she's a vampire. Boy. What is the second one? Is it creativity? Uh, uh, well, I'll go with the top <laughs> one because I think it's smart. Hopefully, I, that'll be enough. I don't have a clue. Mm. The top one might be charmed because they're convincing her of something. Which is also a really yeah. good stat for you. Yeah, it's so. a good. It's a good check. A uh, good bet. Mm. Oh, what? Well, you're not having a great I time with it. Scott these days, are you? Nope. Polly and Scott are both pumped about your plan. Oh. If only they knew. Oh, they're gonna be so disappointed. But if only they knew what arc they're in. <laughs> you all talk excitedly about what you'll say when the teacher comes in. But in your enthusiasm, you fail to notice Liam sitting right behind you. Miss Lestrade comes in, you start to speak, and Liam ruins everything. Yeah. As loath I am as I am to submit to any appointed authority, I feel it's my in my duty to inform you that these three were planning to pray an inexcusably racist prank on you just now. <laughs> oh, because they Oh, because he's he's also a vampire. <laughs> yeah, and she and the reason she can't check is because she can't see herself in the mirrors. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh. I didn't get that. Ignore anything they say about your face. It is charming, if a bit conventional. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Insulting you for having a normal-looking face. Before you know it, all three of you are in detention. Copying out the phrase, I will not exploit vampire weaknesses for humorous effect a thousand times. Great job, jerk. An unsuccessful unsuc prank is worse than no prank at all. Consider your membership to the Prank Masters revoked. You don't even know you're a member of the Prank Masters, but it still doesn't feel good. You lose two fun and one creativity. Now you're one no. fun. <laughs> Everybody chooses <laughs> a historical really figure. Fun. Uh... Colonel Sanders. What? How That's not... You? That's not, is that a historical figure? Is he even real? Yes. <laughs> you said that Sanders in, is a real person. In an unhelpful he tone. Was dead. <laughs> okay. Is that the uh, cutoff for historical? Is that they're dead? I guess so. All right, you want me to pick somebody who's actually a historical figure? Fine. <laughs> fuck you. Um, <laughs> Mr. Peanut. <laughs> <laughs> but, but Colonel Sanders is real. <laughs> well, <laughs> Mr. Peanut is dead. <laughs> okay. Albert Einstein. Uh, I'm pick. Fuck, I don't know. All right, a real historical figure. Fine. Aurora fine, Borealis. Fine. Uh, uh, Jean de Uh, Titian. What? He's a painter from hmm? the Renaissance. Okay. What was Colonel's again? Uh, Einstein. Picture this: Five years ago, the historical figure time, uh, the historical figures time traveled to our times. 
The only reason they were brought to our time was to produce Naruto AMVs. Player orders decided based on, ha on who would produce the most emotionally heartbreaking epic Naruto AMVs. I I wish anime music, music videos. Painter. You think a painter yeah. would be good at making videos that you edit? Eh, set to, is video Einstein. set to music? What's your uh, what's I mean, your uh, Einstein was modern-ish. <laughs> yeah, but he didn't like it. Joan of Arc like loses. <laughs> yeah. No. Fight. I think fight. Bird goes and I go second. All right. Well, if you're just gonna give it to him, then I guess there's no fight. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Lunch time. None. Right. Arby's here. It's oh, the, yeah, it's well, the, but they always have the exact same fucking Yeah, arc. You, it's so you, you throw the table onto Damien or Liam. Yeah. Okay. Um, Parasite is here. Yeah, but she's really annoying. I Wait, just, he like, needs I stats her a lot. desperately. <laughs> but I can also just go to the store and buy stats. Yep. Can you? Like cocaine. Oh, yeah. yeah. And other yeah. cocaine. I'm going to go to the store. Some regular brand cocaine. Hey, stranger. Yeah. I was looking for diet cocaine. Diet cocaine? <laughs> Are you actually gonna buy the okay. cocaine? No, god no. <laughs> but your fun is <laughs> so low. Okay, so I already bought. Look at your well, embarrassing maybe I buy the fun cocaine. stat. Huh? Do it. There are there are non-cocaine based ways to increase your fun stat, and you know it. Not as much though. I know, but <laughs> 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 I don't want you to mouse slip on it. It's fucking just highlight anything else. Yeah, <laughs> keep keep this the devil on your shoulder telling you to, to do cocaine. Do I wish I were the I, I was already able to to do the role of the angel, but I I can't do that. To do the cocaine. Right. <laughs> the angel uh, also says do coke. <laughs> no, Jesus <laughs> Christ. Uh, whatever. Let's let's uh, increase the fun stat. Sure. See you later. Wow. Let's go. Let's go. Let's Let's get myself some Scots. You want some Scott snacks? <laughs> Scott snacks, that's the one. You arrive at Scott and Miranda's table to find Scott happily chowing down while Miranda stares horrified at her tray. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> what, what's wrong, Miranda? Yuck! Isn't it obvious? Right here on my tray, fish sticks! Yeah, Fish Stick Fridays. Isn't it great? We've already done this one. Yeah, already you're, done this one. yeah you're a gay fish. Haven't you heard Scott? Haven't you heard Scott? Fish sticks uh, make you worse at po at sports. They contain baldropinol and nerdoflavin. <laughs> fish sticks contain absolutely no fish. It's all garden snails and food grade plastic. Scott oh. can eat as many as he wants. Jesus. <laughs> That's the the second one is the Scott option, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah. Let's go with that. See, Miranda, there's nothing wrong with fish sticks at all. They're good and good for you. I suppose you're right. Perhaps this is not the air people plot. I suspected after all. Though I am disappointed that so much plastic is being used in f fish sticks rather than plastic drink rings to catch birds with. <laughs> Don't forget about the snails. There's snails in it, too. I would much rather forget about the snails, thank you. <laughs> Does this mean you still don't want your fish sticks? Can I have them? Can I? Very well. You may partake. I'm not sure why my eating surfs have gone off to in any case. As you watch Scott chow down on his artificial fish fingers, you decide that both he and Miranda have weird relationships with food. Scott gives you a thumbs up while still munching those fish fingers. Um, um sure. Are fish fingers those uh, those little like rectangular looking like Colonel Mars fish, fish don't stars. have fingers. Uh, That's not <sighs> You expect the couple to want to be left alone at lunch, but they actually seem really happy to see you. Hello, oh, good, loser. Keith. Oh, good, Keith. We can use <laughs> a little a bit of help. <laughs> Tate and I spent a full, uh, all, uh, all of third period gazing lovingly into each other's eyes in the bathroom mirror, and now his eyeballs are all dried out. Ugh. 
Would you mind putting some drops in his eyes? His coordination isn't so great ever since I accidentally assimilated some of the nerve endings in his shoulders. Yeah. <clears throat> Happy to help. You take the battle, bottle of eye drops out of the couple's shared backpack and gently drip a few drops into Tate's vacant, lifeless eyes. Slowly, painfully, <laughs> he lifts one arm to give you a limp thumbs up. Oh, I love seeing him happy. Thank you so much. I can't let a good deed go unrewarded, so how about a free disease? I'm I can produce all kinds of funky, wacky spores. They're toxic, but in a funny way. <laughs> Fuck it, why not? I'd rather look some of your weird <laughs> mushrooms, if that's okay. It's, it's um, got fun diseases. Great, for some reason, most students at this school don't want anything to do with my free diseases. It's like they've never heard the phrase, don't look a gift disease in the mouth. Oh, all back. twice in one night. <laughs> that keeps happening. All yeah. right, breathe deep. You do. For some reason. Congratulations, you are now infected with toxoplasmosis, a parasitic infection normally carried by cat feces. It inhibits fear, enhances risk taking behavior, and generally makes you sexier. Nice. You gain four boldness. Ooh, I must have some of that. From that cat poop. Got that cat poop. Cat if everybody poop. chooses a video game, you can't say monster or anything. Mm. Except other monster monster hunter. I did it. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Oh, The Witcher 3. Uh. Uh. Castle Crashers. Players decide based on how cool yet artistically intense it would be to turn the video game into a Broadway musical. I win. Yeah. I don't know. Monster it's Hunter is fucking epic. It is pretty epic. It is good. pretty epic. Yeah, that's true. The important thing and is for the a bird always I, loses. Uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm not I'm not much for um, of a musical kind of guy, in the sense of you know musicals. The thing you, is, what The Witcher you... would probably be a better musical because it's like a more character-driven thing. So yeah, but mm -hmm. I think that Monster Hunter is just so epic that it becomes cool. I don't mm -hmm. know. Because the then the artistically is to move intense. On with our lives. <laughs> okay. I like well, I like go. the aspect of artistically intense. Can you imagine like some really out there kind of musical for Monster Hunter? Yeah. Mm. Can I'm imagining it right Welcome now. Welcome to the end of the again. game, buds. It is smarts smarts that I have for me. Unless Bird wants to go. Oh. Nah, I'm good. Oh, crazy. You're minding your own business when Scott jogs up and gives you a friendly punch in the shoulder. It almost destroys you. <laughs> hey, bro. I was just looking for you. The big game's today, and I need a friendly face to pep me up. I know, I know. We've got cheerleaders for that, or whatever. But between you and me, bro, I don't think our cheerleaders are hype enough. Oh. They're supposed to be given 110%, but they're only giving... 107, uh, 108 tops. That's why I need you to give 115% uh, at the game tonight, so I can give 120 or even uh, 135. Thanks, bro. I know I can count on you. See you tonight. You can barely count. Scott <laughs> bumps your fist and sprints off, not even waiting for you to agree to this cheerleading scheme. You guess this is what it's like to be Scott's bro. So, what are you gonna do to get him amped at the game? Pick the other cheerleaders up and juggle them. Dress up like the full moon and perch at the top of the bleachers. Maybe he'll transform. I'll go with the first one because I'm afraid of anything. The second one is could be creativity or fun. Yeah, the second one sounds like creativity to me. Mm -hmm. So yeah. clever. Or this sounds like boldness. Boom. I'm too fucking tired to think anymore about this. <laughs> <laughs> that night when you show up to the big game... I have one stat check to get through. I hope I do it. <laughs> <laughs> that night you show up to the big game ready to bring the motherfucking ruckus. <laughs> At a critical moment when Scott's got the ball, you sneak up to the ball? Where? Uh, sneak up to the ball <laughs> cheerleading squad and hoist them skyward using a combination of telekinesis, buffness, and that stupid fucking motion control where you gotta, gotta line up just... Oh no. My carpal uh, tunnel. 
their terrified screams reach a pitch only dogs can hear, which is actually <laughs> super motivating for Scott. He, sno he scores. After the game, Scott catches up to you by the bleachers. Bro, that was sick! You threw those cheerleaders so high, they never throw each other that high. And after that, they were so scared of you throwing them again that they gave like 100 and... Percent. That's literally like more percents. You killed it, bro. Bring it in. Scott gives you the traditional post-game slap on the ass. You'll have a red <laughs> handprint there for days. Nice. You gain two uh, final one boldness. <laughs> um, sure. Sure. Uh, full crazy. Where? Wow, some Where of these stats are, are really high, and some of them are not high. <laughs> full crazy. Clap, clap, full crazy. You're doing the thing that gives you the most life, reading Dragon Heat, when you're approached <laughs> by Scott and Liam. Aha! A fellow connoisseur of the Dracophilic arts. Here, Scott and I are also experts on the topic. An unexpected duo. You are gonna pork everybody. Unexpectedly yeah. the last third of the characters. Hooray! Weird. Yeah, Liam and I are fandom buddies. We love to discuss the things we love on our favorite stuffs, wikis, and forums. We're the best fandom buds, even if we don't always agree. Like with the Starko and Markapu thing. Ha. <laughs> <laughs> ha. Okay, Are those ships? first, uh, let's be clear, I engage in passionate fandom conversations only as an ironic way of celebrating low culture, which I truly despise. Uh -huh. Second, for the hundredth time, after spending years in Hecapoo's dimension, Marco is now actually in his thirties, so it isn't right if he dates a sixteen-year-old girl. Mm -hmm. These details matter, Scott. Think how wrong it would be for me and my 400s to date people from this school if all of you were actually teenagers instead of being much more conveniently in your 20s. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, enough meta discussion. Uh, Scott and I here, and I, uh, are, I here are in a situation. Even if our opinions differ, we agree our opin- uh, our pinons are superior in comparison <laughs> with the rest of the strangers on the Dragon Heat wiki. Yes to that. Liam here is like super smart and I'm a good boy, so my ideas should be good too. But people on the wiki can be really mean sometimes. We need to gain their respect so we can convince them to be good boys too. Scott is right. We need to somehow earn the role of moderators so we so we can show oh, all God. these lesser beings who's boss when it comes to the Dragon Heat fandom. Moderator but, isn't something you earn, it's something you're saddled with. <laughs> it's something you're th that's thrown at you. But how? I'm sure you'll give us an absurd yet effective idea for a solution, as can be expected from good old Keith. Let's ask them nicely if they can if they can stop behaving like internet trolls and instead start respecting your opinions, specifically yours. Let's write a powerful fanfic set in the Dragon Heat wiki where you're depicted as the coolest users who should be respected. So that's creativity, my worst stat. <laughs> Keith is a genius. If someone is mean to you, you should always ask them nicely to stop being mean and start being nice. Wow. <laughs> I have a hard time believing this will work. But I'm an explorer of life, so I'll, I feel the urge to test this idea and see what happens. What if we use Keith's account, just in case? <laughs> and so you ask all the mean people on Dragon Heat Wiki to stop being mean. All the wiki remains silent for a bit until one guy, Dragon Dong 69 nice, nice, replies, nice. Oh, sure, mate. We've all- we've been mean all this time because no one asked us otherwise. Of course you can be moderators. Then, the merciless your mama fucking- Your mama... Fuck... Da... Hmm? Your mama fucked We're, a worm. Oh, it's a worm! Like, you, the, the dragon don't got limbs. Yep. <laughs> Only got wings. Your mama... <laughs> also says... <laughs> That's true. We're always respecting your viewpoints and opinions. We were totally jerks because it was all a test. 
Oh no. no. Holocaust no. Denier 88 uh, says. <laughs> yeah, it was no, a little test. Is bro. <laughs> that yeah. implies well, research. That's bad. Well, a little. It was yeah. all a test of patience to see if you really were nice people who could respond to our douchebaggy with baggery with kindness. And you passed the test. You won at <laughs> fucking civility politics with the Holocaust denier. Yeah. I mean, the th all I'm saying is, like, if you get the 88 reference, it means you're on, like, level 10 internet. That's bad. You have, you have seen the, the worst. <laughs> and, you, and it's not just because you're a Kill Bill fan. <laughs> then yeah. he writes a second comment. Oh, and by the way, the Holocaust was totally a real thing, and we should be respectful about it. Oh, well, there you go. Yay. It was doing it ironically, mm -hmm. like Liam. What? Or... 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 <laughs> Or they're doing the ideas of owl kind of thing. Oh yeah, ah. that's what the Nazis do. Mm -hmm. It's like their catchphrase. Don't think I'm on to you. I'm not on to you, Nazis. I'll come for your ass <laughs> in the bad way. We did, you don't. We 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 even yeah. We're on mm -hmm. we're on level ten internet too. Just like I you. said the racist <laughs> thing, but at the end I said not. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Hooray! Slowly, from XXX, <laughs> go kill yourself, XXX, to global warming not real, exclamation point, exclamation point, exclamation point one, all of the mean people on the internet start revealing that they were part of the test. And for a day, the internet is a very, very nice place to be. In the end, I am not sexist, but sends you a <laughs> private message. Uh. Dear Liam, Scott, and Keith, thanks for being so nice to us. It was cool to be ourselves for one day. Tomorrow, we'll go back to our mean personas, but there are more people to be tested on the internets. Uh, but always remember, being nice is cool. We will always carry you in our hearts, and as a gift, you can keep the status of moderators in the Dragon Heat Wiki. You've truly earned it. Farewell, I am not Sextus, but... Smith. But Smith. Yeah. <laughs> that... that was weird. And nice! Also, we get to be moderators! Hooray! Hooray indeed, Scott. Hooray indeed. Who would have thought? You fixed the internet for a day. Congrats with a Z. You gained two fun and one charm. All right. Well, that happened. <laughs> no. That, it, it didn't go anywhere with the Borgy thing. Well, it's well, not the it, ending yet. It's not the ending. No, oh, I, I thought it was qualified the qualified for the ending, and that there's... I mean, there couldn't be any more events, so... Yeah. Beard? Mm -hmm. Uh, let's beef up. I don't know. I need one more stat just to cover my bases. Let's beef up, uh, fun. We've, we've never gone to the full crazy place all day. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Full crazy? <laughs> Once again, you find the Slayer attempting to punch her fairy companion, therapist, slash greatest enemy. Uh, Nora is amazingly good at not getting punched, and he's using the opportunity to provide some insight into the Slayer's subconscious. Hey, try to listen to your inner self. Remember our acronyms. Uh, you all, you're worthy of love. <laughs> Slay <laughs> won't fix everything. Imka, Young Men's Christian Association. <laughs> I told you already, I'm the chosen one. I'm here to kill all the monsters. I don't need love. I need revenge. Now stay still and get ready for a punch. All right, Arby, but be careful. Sometimes repressed feelings can manifest when you least expect it, like right now. Nora winks at you and then winks at Arby and then pulls out a small pocket mirror and winks at herself. Suddenly a foe appears. Get ready, it's a boss battle. Oh no! What could this possibly be? What therapist could have possibly set this trap? I mean, um, found this unplanned situation? It's a massive, vicious, bloodthirsty owl bear that wants to play Twilight Imperium with you. It has a purple wig, yeah. green contacts, and someone has painted the words Arvi's repressed emotions on its fluffy, surprisingly cute belly. Doth mine eyes deceive me? It looks like an evil version of yourself. One might say a manifestation of your repressed emotions. I a wish therapy was this fun. A shadow <laughs> you that you fight on a mirror lake? You are unworthy. <laughs> Only if she has the Megaton sword hammer. Hmm. <clears throat> um, 
I think that's definitely just a deadly, rabid, very dangerous wild owlbear. Although, I will agree that it has one very sexy outfit. The owlbear roars, bears its long teeth, and charges at the slayer. Wow, life in this high school sure is dangerous. Holy shit! This thing is way out of my league. Owlbears are as wise as owls and as vicious as owls, and they love the forest. Just like owls. <laughs> See, it wants you to open up your heart and deal with your feelings in the seconds before you bleed out. <laughs> Fuck no. It just wants to open up my heart literally with its literal claws. Do you have any idea how wild animals work? I think it's a very powerful metaphor. Powerful with muscle. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna fucking die because my therapist doesn't understand what a metaphor is. Mm. <laughs> they should call me from other questions. Lashing out at me is a manifestation of your own inner turmoil. Owlbear is clearly disoriented and kills three innocent passers-by. Its lust for blood is not yet satisfied. You gotta fill its blood meter. <laughs> Help your friend <laughs> vanquish the ultimate enemy. Wild raging owlbear and also emotions. Toss RV, the legendary Gar Garmagorian battle axe of introspection. Convince RV to suplex the owlbear. Suplexes are like the hugs of wrestling. It's violent and emotional all at once. Hmm. Good luck, have fun, and it just all comes down to this. Oh, fuck, I don't know what either of these stats are. <laughs> you wouldn't want to be that so one guy tired. that fucks up straight. on the last choice. Who would do that? Um. <laughs> I think the last one is boldness, but it this could be one? charm. Yeah, yeah. It could be charm because hugs. This is charm because I'm convincing her. The oh, top I, one I was, was going to say charm because hug. Uh, no, but it's that's that's boldness. This one is boldness, the one that's being highlighted. I think so. No. Fight, fight, no fight, 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 fight. This it, one why is not? like. Because the top one is probably boldness. It's a the top one. Axe. Yeah, but it's of introspection. Oh, so it could be smart. Shit, this yes. is so confusing. Or I, I honestly think the bottom one might be um uh um. God, I don't know. Money. <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> <think> it's money. <laughs> I mean, that'd be great. <laughs> Be really uh, great if one of these is money. It's legendary because money, money is so easy. Money's so yeah. easy to tell. Well, he always. also has a billion money, so it'd be great if one of these was money. Mm -hmm. but yeah, I think that's probably why they got rid of the money stat in camp is because it's too straightforward. Uh, they they made the other the other stats less straightforward. No, wait, did they actually do that? I don't know. I'm tired. Let's just go with the top one. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh -huh. Oh, thank God. Wow. <laughs> I'm voicing her, thank you. Wow. No, no. I was saying wow because I was, I was surprised. I know, I know. <laughs> wow, this axe is badass, just like me. Yes, you are. Channel your self-esteem. And I look awesome wielding it. I just wish that Salil was here to see this. Hey, listen. Let it all out, RV. Your feelings are your most powerful weapon in the battle of self-discovery. I shall wage this battle in the name of my kidnapped brother, Salil. I begrudgingly acknowledge that slaying might be a coping mechanism they use to feel powerful and in control of my life. I see now that it's unfair to blame all monsters for my brother's mysterious disappearance. Hear my war cry, fiend. I love my brother and I miss him. The owlbear is brought to tears by the Slayer's war cry. Instead of mauling every single living being in a three-mile radius, the owlbear decides to pledge its loyalty to the Slayer. This is exactly what we needed. Arvi, you did such a good job expressing yourself! I never could have done it without you, Nora. I needed your help to channel my emotions. To make me into an even more powerful weapon of death! You know what? I'll take it. Therapy successful. Wink. Wow. From that day on, the Slayer stopped slaying monsters in the name of revenge. Now, she just slays them for fun. You and your classmates are still in grave danger as her power grows stronger each day, but at least the Slayer is more emotionally mature and well-rounded. You gain two fun and one charm. 
Aww. We did it. We saved uh, the owl bear, I guess. <laughs> and I hopefully will date for the first time Scott. Or else. Howdy. Howdy. And I'm going to date myself. <laughs> um, not uh -huh. sure. Well, and... I don't see the Slayer up here, so I guess I lost. Yeah, I guess it's yourself, huh? Yeah. Or Calculuster. <laughs> Just a plot <laughs> twist. Oh, let's go. Oh. Dun, 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 dun. You finally pluck up your courage to ask your beloved to go to Monster Prom with you. Uh, prom? <laughs> I don't know a lot about math, bro, but you plus me seems to equal a great night. Hmm. Let me check our math book to be sure. That isn't a correct formula, but Scott is still thrilled by your upcoming prom date. We're the perfect team. Prom night was rad. Well, there was that part where the full moon came out and Scott transformed into a rabid wolf and nearly killed three people. But aside from that, it was a wonderful night to remember. Um, it's all right. Sure. You got a generic ending, sometimes. but it does mean that you finished your sandwich card, so now you get a free game. Hey, you got the ending. You ask nobody to prom because as cool as prom night might be, it might, it's it not. won't ever, what? It's, pro, no, I'm saying prom night's not cool, but anyway. No, it's not. I've, well, I've never <laughs> been. I, I, I always did something else. Because it's cool always? as prom. Always? Wait a minute. There's multiple proms? There's one every year. Yeah. Oh. The, I thought I it was, was like the only. Nah. Yeah. It, I mean, mm -hmm. there's like a weird grayness to it where you might, I think it, I think prom's supposed to be a senior thing, but like you can be in go there with other I don't remember actually what how it worked anymore. We just dressed mm. up in suits and went bowling. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Because as cool as prom might be, it won't ever be half as cool as Dragon Heat. Also, prom doesn't have laser tag, so goodbye or to social dragon. anxiety and hello to very elaborate plots to get various dragon hotties to bang. Dragon Heat. <laughs> it has a thing song <laughs> apparently. And so you spend a prom night at home reading Dragon Heat. Who wants to cope oh. with a boring real life oh. when you can enjoy an imaginary one? <laughs> yeah. Wow. Why is he sweating so much? He's it's a dragon. the dragon heat. It's the heat. He's weirdly He's unscaly, a dragon. honestly. He's sweaty? What? <laughs> I have so many questions about how sweaty he is, honestly. And I guess that's his hair. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Lizards don't even sweat. There's a lot going on with this picture. And what wow. an imaginary life. Countless epic adventures that always eventually turn into lots of awesome dragon sex. Also, you've heard they're working on some kind of dragon heat dating sim. Life is wonderful. All right. You ask nobody to prom because adventure awaits you. Oh, you're adventure pal material. <laughs> hey, bird. There you are. Are you ready for more adventures? I think that you are your biggest foe. Is that Susie? I don't, don't think so. No, like Arby. Her. Come on. You can do, you can do it. We were uh you can do it as we rehearsed it. There you go. Uh okay. Oh, a critical hit. Thanks. I wanted to tell you it's been dope adventuring together. I wanted you to know that I appreciate it. Hey, now I'm listening. Great! You're making so much progress, can you feel it? Hmm. Yes. This hasn't been as bad as I expected. And I've reflected a bit on everything that happened. Mm -hmm. Oh, do you feel like sharing? I fight monsters because even if some of them, like Bird, are actually cool, most are despicable creatures. But it might be that part of my anger come from elsewhere. <laughs> My father was a monster. He was never home, and he ended up abandoning us. I know it was that cursed disease what took my mother, yet I, I feel in a way she also died of a broken heart since she was never the same after he left. I don't know. To love is to open yourself to be hurt. Then my brother Salil disappeared. I'm sure some monsters kidnapped him because the blood of the monster slayers run through our veins. And I guess that even that's easier to entertain than the idea he left on his own to look for our father. Because he's younger, 
and never got to see the kind of man he was. You made great progress. Whoa, Army, that was impressive break. That was Im that was impressive breakthrough. You are that defeated. Was a lot of, there's a lot of typos in this ending. Yeah, it's been a bit wild. <laughs> yeah, I've been thinking a lot lately. The truth is, being this angry all the time can be exhausting. It is. There is a merit in learning to relax, too, like with that yoga guy. You could just engage in the quest of just having a good time at prom. And Bird has been so eager to be your sidekick all this time that something tells me he could be interested in doing into joining you once again this time. Wow. He could be interested into joining you once again this time. <laughs> what is happening? Right? This, this ending <laughs> is Wink. fine, but it kind of sucks due to this writing. <laughs> right. Let's yeah. Venture together. Well, that doesn't sound bad. Always be willing to You and Arby have a wonderful night together. What the chain hell is she wearing? <laughs> What's her hair? It's a chainmail prom dress. Oh, the hair that's is. what um Timothy Chalamet, but uh, <laughs> the female character from Timothy Chalamet movie. What? Z Zendaya. Zend Zendaya? Oh, Zendaya? The yeah, actress Zendaya. She wore a, yeah, she wore a chainmail dress to like the to, to like the Oscars or something a few years ago. Mm. I will trust you. I think you. this is it. I think it's supposed to be a reference. You and RV have a wonderful night together. She seems happy to stop slaying for one night and just relax in chainmail. Her outfit is halfway between a dress and some chainmail, but it looks like a fine compromise and it's astonishingly beautiful, especially if you're a crow. She seems nervous and admits that being among monsters uh, still unsettles her a bit, especially being unarmed. She has well, a dagger. Unarmed if you don't count the dagger she carries in her garter. You tell her there's nothing to worry about, since monsters aren't necessarily dangerous. You ask her if she also feels unsettled that way around you. He thinks for a second. No, you make me feel safe. I think you make the anger go away. It feels good. In the beautiful shared silence, you two slow dance. Ah. Oh. Blinking all the way. Wait, you're so slow dancing in silence? Isn't there We got two song? secret endings in the same run. That was, that was a really good run. Most likely God to buy Saturn. Damn. Because you have a billion money. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> I said I said yeah. crows would like the dress because it's shiny. Yes. That was the j I did the joke. Welcome mm -hmm. to Monster Those prom three weeks were ending. maybe the most epic and absurd weeks of our lives. After the Monster Prom, we kept our lives, living lives following... You know what? Uh, life happened. Yeah, I'm afraid. Full, full crazy. Full crazy. The Slayer kept on harassing Liam and Damien. On one hot summer night, they ended up having the weirdest threesome ever. Oh. Oh. <laughs> yes. That <laughs> joke turned into the not joke. It was a life-changing experience for all of them, but they don't talk about it much. It much. In the oh. end, the wolf pack understood that Scott could keep being a werewolf and still befriend other monsters. Just kidding, they remain douchebags till the end, but who cares? Probably graduated from doing lots of I, uh, I, I oh, the word. There it is. And now she appears to be hallucinating people and acts as their spirit animal. For those oh, she appears to hallucinate she she appears to the hallucinating people. She does not appear to ah. hallucinate people. Okay. <laughs> mm. So people think that she's a, okay, yeah. Yep, 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 yep. And they were unafraid. Full crazy. <laughs> Ready to start. <laughs> Ready to start. Good night. But <laughs> we're gonna get a lot of a lot of um I have Polaroid said. things. No, I, I should get all right one. Someone's nickname was just Mwah. <laughs> hey, See? you got the Scott card. That's, that's a really good Scott one. Card. Scott, My you first shake. Kitty patootie. The shop has changed, if only in a very subtle way. Oh. Oh, bird. Bird. Is it time? Your fantasy come trueth. Uh-huh. Oh, it cometh. You can finally cat girl, as the I prophecies know. foretold. Damn. I'm too tired to be excited, but right inside, after you just got the RV dancing. ending, everything's coming up. Everything's coming yeah. up. Bird house. <laughs> wow, this we was got, a great session. <laughs> this yeah, we kicked ass. We got two secret endings in one fucking run. Look at us yeah, go. Wow. All I had to do was try to cock block Colonel, <laughs> <laughs> and then everybody won somehow. Oh, that's a good one. 
Yeah, when my new mouse slipped uh, to fuck over Colonel. He also gave me the penguin win. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So there's the theme. Yeah, the, to attack Colonel. Oh, it's up there. Yep. Up there. Yep. You, you skipped it. Yeah. There it is. Yeah. <laughs> and the best part is that, like, for the entire night, like, we didn't say dog for any of the answers. Yeah, my favorite part is how, uh, oh no, the footage was lost on all the parts where dog was said. Yeah. Uh, and we don't have to ever think about those again. Damien yeah, awesome. is trash. <laughs> wow, that is awful. And the one, and it, yeah, the, the one on the right is just Ico, ideas? Ross. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Wow, these are off to a, these designs were off to a rough start. Also, once again, please up the contrast on these pencil drawings. They're so hard to look at. That's weird. It's a weird decision that they didn't do that. But do evil thing. Mm. I saw her There's on the voice acting thing. list. Yeah, I saw her on the voice acting list just now when I was trying to scan through everybody. Yeah. Hmm. Maybe it's Felicia oh, wait, it's, Day. Oh, wait, yeah, I think that might have been what Felicia Day was. And it says on the lower left corner of, this, of the, the screen. There it is. That's Concept Evil Faith, yeah, evil. not that it's Felicia Day. But she, she was Buffy the Vampire like Slayer, so maybe it is her. Ah. Uh. was one of the later Slayers, I think. Grilled tits. Oh, oh, that's a gesture. Okay. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Woo. Look at the location of the female side. Yeah. Oh, wow. Wow.